today I'm going to assemble a pan tilt camera mount and for that I have purchased this module and it is having four pieces and some screw with it and I will need two 9 gram servo to use with it and uh, you can see these four pieces are there this is the bottom piece and this is the piece where the camera is mounted and we have to connect these to servo we have to assemble this all so it will start working here it is you can see this is a 9 gram servo and uh, I'm going to connect this servo uh, we have to take the piece where we are to connect this servo with this uh, piece and to connect this first we have to see this hole and in this hole you can see this part will be connected and it will be something like this so we have to connect the servo over there like this okay why we have connected the servo like this because this is another piece and it is having a hole over there and this uh, horn piece horn piece of this uh, servo it is also came with this servo and will be connected over there and it will be assembled over there like this and this hole will be assembled in this way so first we have to take this piece and we have to connect one of the servo in this position and before connecting this I'll also put this piece in this way so further it will be used so we are going to screw this servo over there here it is you can see these different type of screws came with this module and uh, to connect this servo I am going to use this screw which is having nut bolts so I am going to connect it like this and uh, I'll screw it in proper here it is the top piece where the camera is to be mounted and uh, as I have described I have connected the servo over there using these two screw and it is not bolt over there and I have also fixed this part over there so now I'll take these two other parts and now I'm going to place the horns in these parts you can see here it is a slot where a horn is to be fixed and that is there and this horn will be fixed like that but this horn is a bit longer than the slot so I'll cut it down and I'll screw this horn using these small screws from there and it will fix over there so I'll be able to use it over there like that in this way and uh, the servo what I've connected earlier will fix in this way so it will be working like that so this is a one step and in another 
I'm going to fix this another horn over there a slot is already provided over there and I, I'm going to fix this horn over there this is also a bit longer so I'll cut this horn also in shape and I'll fix this horn in this bottom piece with these small screws so I'm going to do this Here the horns are connected as per the plan and I have screwed these horns was a bit bigger so I have cut them and made in the shape similarly this horn was also bigger in the shape so I have cut it to make properly fixed within this bottom piece and now I'm going to attach another servo here it is the another servo and I told you earlier that I hope this is the topmost piece and I have connected the servo over there here now I am to connect this another servo in this way and uh, there is a slot given in this uh, module and we can easily fix this servo within this slot and uh, now we can connect this another piece over there in this way it is very easy and the horn is also to be connected with this servo now you can see this horn is connected and now we have to connect this horn and uh, we have to screw at this place and here it is the screw we have to just make it fix over there small screw and uh, this medium sized screw we have to put over there at these two places to fix this bottom piece so we have to fix these screw over there in this way this structure is ready and you can see this motion is possible this is moving and now we are to fix this whole structure on this piece and here it is the horn I have already screwed over there and uh, this is the piece I am to connect in this way and after fixing it I am to place and screw over there to connect it here it is after connecting the piece you can see it can be able to move and I also connected this camera mounting and you can see it can easily be able to move and it is ready to use now you can see from the every direction it is very easy to assemble Soon I'll be doing some good project using this camera mount and upload I'll upload an another video. Thanks for watching.